So it wouldn't be bad to have some medieval recipes actually to cook today, but what I've brought you, it's not really medieval, but it starts with them. It's Mediterranean. It's a very easy recipe. I promise you, it is absolutely delicious. And what we're going to cook is some um, seabream filet with a cherry tomato and olive relish. I've got my seabream in the oven, and then all we're going to do is just crisp the skin a bit in this pan. But for the moment, I'll just show you what I've done. So what I've done is I've just sauteed a little bit of um, onion with some olive oil. You know I like my olive oil. Yeah, I've got it over here. And then I've got a variety of both um, red and yellow cherry tomatoes. Just half them. When the onion was transparent, I've just added those, those cherry tomatoes. Now, if you can see, the heat is actually quite low, okay? Um, I, I'm doing this on purpose. Why? Because I want the tomatoes to still be fresh. I don't want them to taste like cooked tomato, like sauce or anything like that, yeah? I just want them to release some of the natural juices, but I still want that crunch. So if we put the heat too high, that wouldn't happen, yeah? So it's now time to season. And um, I've got a bit of oregano to add that Mediterranean touch again. Depends on how you like your oregano. I like it quite a lot, so I'm, I'm being generous, yeah? Bit of uh, maldon salt or salt flakes. And a bit of pepper. And of course, I, I don't know, I, I guess this is sort of like an Italian dish. We're gonna put a bit of balsamic vinegar as well, yeah? That, that's gonna give a nice acidity and a nice sweet touch as well. We'll just give it a nice stir. As always, please, at a, at a low heat, yeah? So you can control how those tomatoes are cooking. And then I've brought you some black olives. You can use green olives if you prefer, but this also gives a lovely um, sort of salty flavor that's gonna go really, really well with our sea bream. So there you go. I just give this a stir, and I'm gonna keep it here on the side. I'll just keep it here actually, because the heat is not that high. We're gonna get our sea bream, and we'll just sear it very quickly in the pan. Here you go. So this is just a seabream fillet. If you go, if you go um, to the supermarket, you can ask um, <coughs> you can ask them to clean it for you and just separate both fillets. Yeah, I'm going to be very careful not to get burnt. So I've got a spatula over here, and I'm just going to pass it to the pan because I've left the skin on. Yeah, and what I want, there you go. Let's just move this aside. What I want is for that skin to crisp a little bit. Yeah, so. Not everyone enjoys eating the skin of the fish, but you might like it, and it's always better if, it, if it's got that crispiness. So as you see, pretty straightforward. For the fish, all I've done is the oven at 180 degrees, bit of salt and pepper, bit of olive oil, and it's just been in there for honestly 10 minutes, not more than that, because it is a small f uh, uh, piece. It's gonna cook really fast, yeah? Um, you wanna make sure it's flaky. If you keep it longer than that, what's gonna happen is that it will dry, and then it will just lose um, the, the whole beautifulness, yeah, of the sea bream. So let's see. Okay, there you go. So you see how this, the skin is crisping up. You can actually see, I'll show you. You can see it over there, yeah? The skin is crisping up nicely. I'm gonna do something that is very important and that I always tell my chefs when we're in the kitchen. I'm here, I'm just getting a spoon. When you cook, it is so important to try the food as you go. Because if you don't try the food, how are you gonna know if what you're serving is good, yeah? Um, I always tell my chefs that. And as a matter of fact, we've got a golden rule that says that at least three chefs in my kitchen need to try every dish before it goes out. So I don't have three chefs here. Um, you're gonna have to trust me on this one. I'll just give it a quick. Mmm, mmm. It's really nice. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more balsamic vinegar. And there you go. Mmm, it's tasting beautiful. So I'll give it a nice stir. The fish is ready. And I'm just gonna take it out with the help of a spatula. Be careful when you take out the fish so that you don't break that filet. Well, hello. I can't have all that tasting going on out with me. You know. <laughs> I'm tasting before the dish is even served. Let's see. How are Intr you? I, I'm good. I just Ooh. had a question about the balsamic because yeah. quite often when you see balsamic going into dishes, yeah. you, you mentioned that the, the dish is quite uh, at, at, at quite a low heat because quite That's often right. you see the, the, the balsamic going on and it just disappears, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because is that it, because it's the, got the a lot of heat? water and all okay. that and then it'll just evaporate, yeah? yeah? But I haven't done that here. We're treating this almost like a salad. Okay. You know, at the end of the day, it's just almost like a warm salad. I've just cooked the, um, let me just remove this okay. before we smoke everything. Yeah. Um, 
I've just cooked the onion really well, mm. just because I don't like having that crunchiness of the onion. Yeah. But I mean, it's up to up to you guys, yeah. It's just nice and transparent, as you can see, yeah. And then the rest is just pretty much like a lovely Mediterranean lovely. salad, yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Get it on so the plate. Let's have a taste of this. Oh, and I've also it's brought a beautifully some Mediterranean dish, isn't it, as well? They, yeah, absolutely. It could be. Pr you could have this in Spain, in Italy, in Greece. I don't know. Any yeah. Mediterranean country, it's light. mind you, uh, but Lebanon as well. Yeah, yeah. It's light. It's, it's super fresh. easy to prepare. Check this out. I've, I've brought you microgreens. I'm oh loving really? the microgreens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're actually grown in the UAE, and I love them. Marta's and gone all, all micro sorts. on us. Yeah, hey, yeah. microgreens from you. Marta's yeah. kitchen. Hey, there you go. They're a bit small because they just came out. So we've got the soil there. Okay. Absolutely organic, so it doesn't matter. Even if you eat the, the soil, I think it will be good as well. It'll do me the world <laughs> good, that's for sure. Okay, just a dash of um, okay. tiny bit of uh, olive oil like that. Just to dress yeah. the plate on yeah. top. And there voila. You go. And then a um, bit of mild and salt. A little salt on top, just to give that extra crunch there. And that's good it. Good to go. And this is our dish. Okie dokie. Let's uh, grab ourselves a couple of these. I'll get you a knife. You and in terms of, I think I'm just going to break a few bits off here. Okay. In terms, I mean, we use the bream here. Could you use, I mean, you could use any other fish, Any fish, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I particularly like um, sea bream and sea bass. Uh, right. Those are white fish that I really like and that we can get easily in the UAE. And they're not terribly expensive. And, yeah. and I mean, you know, everything counts. Yeah. Um, but this would work with anything, with tuna, marinated tuna. Mm. That would go really well. Mm. 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 That is just so, so good. I mean, that tastes like the seaside. It does, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah, you close your eyes and you feel like you're somewhere in Greece, We've some got island. A lovely bit of fish. <laughs> the balsamic really comes through beautifully, but mm. not too acidic, not too tart. That's like right, that. yeah. That's yeah. a top dish. Um, and the good news is, the bonus, is that that recipe is exclusively up on our Facebook page right now as well, facebook.com forward slash studio one life. Marta, thank you very much indeed Thank you, you for having me. Marta and I often get changed into our medieval outfit now. Um, <laughs> Uh, join I'll us tomorrow as we discuss how women are getting involved in science and technology and how much do you know about your wisdom teeth? Far too mm -hmm. much at the moment, that's the problem.